And we are back with another session of Harry Potter and the Joblet of Fear, eh? Oh. <laughs> October 17th, huh? It is now the 23rd. As of this recording, that is. It's been nearly a week. And it was a good week, too. Because I wasn't playing this. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't care about the challenges. I'm presuming I can't do the rest of the exterior. I probably could stand to explore more of the Forbidden Forest, but honestly, I don't want to. Okay, all right, I, I can't do the bathroom, but yeah, I need to get like two shields during this. Okay, now up until this point, the game's been really adamant about simultaneous three-player co-op. How is it going to handle it when Harry was the only one out of the three that took part in the task? <laughs> ah, what is with that dragon? How is that broom coming to him? He didn't even say the incantation right. I wish it impaled him right through the fucking heart. Well, of course, this is going to make it into the game, isn't it? It's inverted, and there's no way to change it. I actually, yeah, it is inverted. Is that a good thing? Oh, we are flying through rings. Oh! Dear God, are we going to go back to 1955 at that speed? So, is there some rubber banding going on? Is that dragon going to catch up? Oh, yes. Is this just on rails and it wants me to collect beans? Is there a chance of getting killed by that thing? It's that R1 to increase speed, but I don't really see it making much of a difference. Uh-oh. Oh, actually, no, I see it is making a difference in speed. No! no! Holy Christ, Crunch! Wow, this looks pretty. Too bad it's on rails and you can't explore all of it. And I have to admit, the music here, presuming it's still Jeremy's soul, and even if it's not, sounds pretty nice here. My god, I'm gonna die at this rate. Wow, I suck at this, don't I? Chocolate frogs don't mean a thing here, do they? But at least to checkpoints. 
Well, there's the first real death of the playthrough, I guess. I don't really give a shit, but... Ooh, knock on wood. I died. <laughs> Just like Cedric! Now, why would you have a speed boost right where a fireball's gonna be at? Come on. It's like the game's deliberately duping me and trying to bait me into getting hit. I should be getting hit by the fireballs for not getting into them, not for trying to. That's just deceptive. Congratulations, you've been a... Uh, oh. I need to do somewhat decent to get enough shields to... Hmm. This means I have to do it again. Well, this is a good way to get Harry a shit ton of beans. So, if I were playing this with two other people, and I am not horrible enough to subject two other people to play this, would they just have to sit and watch? Can we at least take turns? Yeah, that's definitely Jeremy's soul. I recognize that melody. I think that same song was from Quidditch World Cup, if I remember right. I got the egg! Let's crack it open and eat the yolk! That egg may screech loudly. But I screech even louder. But I kind of don't want to ruin this headset by peaking the audio and distorting it, so... Not this time. Does it have to be in this specific area? I doubt it, to get that shield. Now, what was this challenge? Oh, oh, these challenges, do they take you to certain areas? Well, great, I guess that means I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I don't want to deliberately skip stuff. I at least want to try to do stuff before my sanity is depleted. No, Harry just got a lot of stuff. Fuck everybody else. Wait, actually, before I do this, I should buy some cards. <clears throat> I keep forgetting to do that. Because whatever rhythm or routine this game wants to get me into, I try to erase from my mind almost as soon as I'm done playing it for the night. Yes, the game is bad. I kind of lost track of how many times I keep saying that. Maybe I should stop before it gets stale and repetitive if it hasn't already. <clears throat> well, I don't have any pumpkin juice to dribble out of my mouth, but eh, I chew. Well, that's all I can get for now. No point checking Ron and Hermione. I didn't get anything for them. Alright, now let's try the challenge.
So, is this going to be like Challenge of the Gods and God of War? I already forgot what I'm supposed to do. And it doesn't fucking tell me. <laughs> What's all this? I don't think... Nope, that was the wrong button. Am I supposed to just hold the X button and that'll work? I'm not sure how to cast the specific spells the game seems to want. I'm just gonna hold X until I just run out of time. Orchidius? What does the select button do? Seemingly nothing. Harry and Ron keep casting this Orchidius spell, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to pay attention to that number below the countdown, but I don't know if I'm causing it to increase or if, I'm, or if it's, you know, the other two dickwads. Okay, basic casting is not doing a damn thing. I'm holding X. That's doing nothing too. Down you go. Wait, I just held triangle. Did that do something? Okay, I'm noticing a pink icon appearing over their heads. Does that have something to do with it? Okay, square seems to be Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I guess we did it. Oh. Oh. We did it, but we didn't do it well enough. Well, it's giving us a lot of beans, so I suppose that's one worthwhile thing about doing it over and over again. Not sure if it'll lock me out of being able to do it again if I gold it. So, will deliberately failing actually be beneficial? Uh. What is your problem? <laughs> we haven't even started, and you're already hurt? Oh, why did it go curse-splody? No, not that one. This one. Oh, 
I want to at least try to silver it. Oh my god, the AI fucking sucks. There we go. Okay, you know what? I'm getting bored of this. This is fucking dumb. Without other players, I am too dependent on the AI, and obviously I'm not going to get anywhere with them. Just, I've had enough. Oh, okay. Oh. Did I just... Whatever, it auto-saved, I bet. Right? I should have chose drop out, not quit. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Do we still have our shit tons of beams? Oh my god, that's about a half hour of progress wasted. Fucking. It probably didn't autosave. Ah, cunt! It, uh, let's see. The well, best way to check is to see how many beans everybody has. Okay, Harry's not going to have that much. I guess it... Yeah, it did. You know what? Never mind. That screaming of cunt earlier was uncalled for. Oh, speaking of cunts. <laughs> uh. Okay. I... Why is it showing just this cunt? What does she have to do with Hermione? Aside from a lot. I liked how Hermione figured out that she is an Animagus that turns into a beetle and she trapped her in a jar. Is that... That's Dumbledore during the... Trial for... What's his name? Karkaroff, right? Again, none of these have anything to do with her. Oh, speak of the devil. Hermione herself. Whoa. I don't think I'd see her in her own section. That seems to be a theme with her. Like, whatever cards you get for her, they just have little to nothing to do with her. I mean, yeah, at least Fred and George and Arthur are there. You could just see Arthur. No, I mean, you could just see Ron just behind Arthur, standing to the right of Harry. Oh, that's how I look every time I boot up the game. Ooh, we're too poor to afford those. But I can't afford these. Okay. Are there only three cards in this set? Or is the game just not allowing me to get any? What the fuck? My D-pad was doing weird shit. 
That I am... Yeah, that looks like it's during the pensive when he's seeing Karkaroff's trial. That's him looking at the egg because he's too dumb to figure it out himself. <laughs> 